Hey guys, Derek here. This is my cat. Uh, we are back with another reaction to The Mandalorian. This is going to be season one, episode two. Last time on The Mandalorian, we were kind of thrown into the the world of this bounty hunter and uh, just kind of following him on, on one specific mission. So he finishes his first mission that we see... Um, where he's just bringing in a bounty, a regular bounty, like a, a bail jumper or something like that. And we very quickly learn that this guy is just awesome, like total badass, like not someone to be messed with. And then after that, he picks up another bounty. Uh, this one, he doesn't know who he's going after. He just knows their age and their approximate location. Um, and the payment for this bounty is like, it's it's huge. It's uh, Beskar steel, which is uh, like what Mandalorian armor is made out of. Um, so right now he's kind of he kind of has like a piecemeal uh, type of armor going on, where um, his helmet is Beskar steel, and now his right shoulder is Beskar steel. Um, but the rest is just, I mean, it's just regular steel, like um, and. Beskar steel is good because it can deflect uh, blaster bolts. Um, I I read somewhere that like the handles for lightsabers are made out of Beskar steel. Um, so it's like it's incredibly valuable, and it was kind of all taken away from the Mandalorians during the Great Purge, as they called it. Um, I'm guessing when the Empire confiscated it for whatever the empire confiscates it uh for but yeah so he takes he takes the job because it's obviously gonna pay well and he's a bounty hunter so he he's gonna do his job um he finds this this guy that helps him uh defeat these beasts and, and teaches him how to ride them i forgot that guy's name but he's at least voiced by Nick Nolte. Um, and he, his favorite phrase is, I have spoken. <laughs> uh, and that's like now the de facto way to end any argument. Anytime someone's like, ah, oh, they keep arguing, just, I have spoken. <laughs> just say that and you're good. Um, yeah, he goes and he's ready to fight these people. And then IG-11, um, I mistakenly called IG-11 like an HK droid. It's not an HK droid, it's an IG droid. It was IG-11. IG um, voiced by Taika Waititi, which is awesome. Uh, he goes in and he's just like, it was so cool how he just, he's twisting around, spinning in different directions, shooting all the time. And <laughs> then they get, trapped or, or cornered or whatever and and this droid wants to kill himself more than anybody I've ever seen like it's insane um <laughs> but they they fight their way out of it uh he ju uh the Mandalorian jumps on this like turret thing mows everybody down they break in to this room and then they find out that um the person that he's supposed to be bringing in is a baby Yoda. So Yoda's age a lot more slowly than regular people so they can live a long time. So this little baby Yoda is 50 years old. And the IG droid wants to kill it because it got a, a different assignment. Um, and so he's about to kill it and then the Mandalorian kills him instead. And then that's where the episode ends. So going into this episode i'm wondering like what is he gonna is he gonna like fulfill that bounty like is he gonna bring it in um because in the trailer it shows like in in one of the trailers for the show it it showed him shooting um stormtroopers and so my initial thoughts is that he brings the yoda back to the people and then when he finds out what they want it for 
and he doesn't like enjoy that or go along with that, uh, conflict will ensue. Um, but I think he'll probably end up getting in at least one fight before he gets back there because um, there is a shot in the trailer where he's fighting like some outlaws or something in this like orange desert thing. And it looked almost exactly the same as the desert that him and that one dude crossed in order to get to the quarry. So I'm guessing it won't be super easy for him to get back there um, to the to the whatever planet they were on. Um, so I'm thinking we'll see at least one more fight. This episode's short. It's only 33 minutes. The first one was only 40. Um, part of me doesn't like that because I, I like long, the longer episodes and I, you know, more content is more content. Um, but most of me is, is actually on board with it. Like, I think a huge drawback of certain shows is they try and they try and tell a story that will last 40 minutes to an hour instead of just telling a good story. Um, and, and that works similarly with like shows that have too many episodes. Um, like they try and tell a story for 22 episodes instead of just a story that could fit in 13. Um, so I think it'll be, I think it'll be good, but who knows? Um, please make sure to leave a like on this video. That will help a lot. Subscribe if you want to see the rest of the season's reactions. Um, if you want to see the full length reaction to this episode, head down to Patreon. Uh, that would be awesome too. And then this is not a substitute for the original episode. Please go watch it on Disney Plus so I don't get copyright claimed. <laughs> uh, this is not a substitute for the original episode in any way. Disney, please don't copyright claim me. <laughs> All right, let's just, let's jump into this episode. Yeah, oh, that's cool that that just follows him. This is the shot from the trailer where he fights somebody. They like jump down or something. He walks so weird. <laughs> I noticed this last episode too. His, his stride's a little goofy. Ooh, fight's about to happen. Are they here for the Yoda? Oh, he's so good. Yeah. Oh, they're trying to kill it. Okay, they probably, they might have the same directive as the IG. That guy disintegrated. Frank, he's gonna have to take out a lot of people then if, if everyone else is after this bounty too. The child. That's a classic Star Wars shot right there. <laughs> is it gonna like heal him? What is going on? That thing is the cutest little thing in the world. I would die for that Yoda. <laughs> He's already back. Just let him do whatever he wants, man. Oh, come on. Oh, frick, is that his ship getting scrapped right now? <laughs> oh, they're straight taking his ship apart. 
Yeah, you gotta take those guys out, man. Wow, they're getting straight eviscerated. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's gotta stop them and then straight up rebuild his entire ship. Is the baby still following? Yeah, you absolute monster. <laughs> oh, good gracious. Took all his weapons. Oh no. Dang. I liked his shit. Is he gonna have to get a new one now? My ship is to be destroyed. I'm trapped here. Eats it. Oh, the music is so good. These are my parts. You stole them from me. <laughs> it's not broken. This looks like the scene from the, uh, one of the scenes from the trailers too. He fights this, um, it's like a rhinoceros looking thing. It's gonna be behind him, or it's that thing. <coughs> oh. Just, oh, his chest piece is wrecked. Jammed. I wonder if the Yoda will help. Ooh, no, no, no. Oh. That would hurt. The Yoda's gotta do something. Oof. That was to the helmet. Oh, just the knife. He's like barely standing. Yes! Dang right this thing can use the force. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he looks... He looks like Yoda when he uses the Force. Wow, one knife. One knife to the, to the face or neck. That was all it took? I wonder if all of those species are force sensitive or 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 what is the situation? That's all they wanted was just to eat out of it. All right, he gets to keep his ship. That's good. I liked the design. Maybe they'll paint it though. That'd be sweet. I could use a crew member of your ability, and I can pay handsomely. I won't. I have worked a lifetime to free and servitude. I understand. Offer my thanks. And I offer mine. Thank you for your peace to my valley. Good luck with the child. May it survive and bring you a handsome reward. 
I don't think he's gonna give this kid to the people now. There's a lot more to this Yoda than he, I think, initially re realized. You're gonna have to find out what Yodas eat. I mean, it ate that little slug thing, or not slug, the lizard. But other than that, it hasn't eaten anything in a while. That was a good episode. I think I think that episode did a lot to kind of strengthen their bond. I think, yeah. Let's watch these uh these sick concept art drawings. Okay. Yeah, that episode was just as good as the first one. I think uh, it answered a lot, or not a lot, but a, a, a few of the, like, questions people have been wondering of, like, um, like, what is, like, uh, how do I say this? Um, like, I think people are wondering, is he gonna turn the Yoda in for the bounty? And... At first, I probably would have said yes. Now that he's like spent some time with it on the on the planet, I think he's sort of developed like a bond and he's gonna, he's gonna, I, I still think initially he'll bring it back um, and then he'll find out like what they want it for. Um, and I think after that, he'll be like, nah, I'm taking this thing back. Um, what do I think? I think the Empire wants it because it's force sensitive. Um, like I'm, I'm pretty sure that's something that the, the Empire was doing was like hunting down any any person or, or being that like had force abilities or like could be a Jedi and either trying to turn them or just kill them if they can't. Um, and so I think they might try and kill this Yoda eventually or use it for something to maybe bring the Emperor back. Maybe, it, maybe this will tie into episode nine. Um, they might be trying to use the Yoda for its long life abilities, potentially, and incorporating that into the Emperor and helping him stay alive. That would be a cool tie-in. Um, <laughs> but we, okay, so he's returning to his ship, gets in a fight with some, some outlaws, and they have a tracking fob, so it, it shows that, like, he is not the only one on this job. Like, he already knew that from the IG uh, unit, but, like, a ton of people are after this Yoda. And they were trying to kill it. Like, they weren't just trying to take it. They were trying to murder that thing. Um, and they got disintegrated for their efforts, uh, which is good. We don't want the Yoda to die. Um, so he takes that, takes them out, dispatches them fairly easily, and then gets back to his ship, and the Jawas are just, just stripped it, completely done. Uh, he gets in a fight, and they're like, the, he, when he got electrocuted at the top, that was the funniest thing. I loved that. That was so funny. Um, <laughs> so then he has to go to the Jawas to try and trade for his ship parts that they just stole. And the only reason he can't just kill them all is because they have this, like, walking fortress. Um, which I still, if I was him, I would have, 
I would have taken them all out. Um, and initially they want the Yoda and he's like, no, not happening. And instead they settle on him getting an egg from this like rhino looking thing. I, I mean, I don't know why that egg was so valuable to them. Like they initially they said best his Beskar steel, which is like super expensive, and then they settled on this egg. Must be some like some sort of delicacy because that thing just messes you up if you try and take its egg. But that thing jacked him up. His chest piece was like destroyed. I don't know how he repaired that. Um. But he was down for the, like, he was going to die. That thing was straight up going to kill him. And then the Yoda lifts him off the ground for like 10 feet and then just plops him back down. And he stabs him once with like a, maybe, it's maybe like a five inch blade. And he stabs him once in like the neck and that thing dies instantly. Like what? That thing's giant. How does that thing die so easily? That's, I mean, that's super surprising. I think that was a, a little easy of a kill there. I mean, he not easy because he got messed up, but like one stab to the neck. Come on. <laughs> uh, and then the Yoda passes out. So that answered another question of like, is this Yoda force sensitive? This Yoda specifically is. We don't know for sure if like their whole species is inherently force sensitive because Yoda was, Yaddle was, and now this one is. And it's the only three of the species that we've ever seen. Um, and it's as a baby, like as a child, it's still able to lift, um, lift this huge, massive animal off the ground. So like, it kind of explains a little bit why Yoda was so strong in the force. Uh, it, it might be because the like this species is just inherently good at it. Um, but yeah, throughout the episode, like this, this Yoda is the cutest thing ever. Like there's a scene in, in Brooklyn nine, nine where Rosa gets a dog and she's like, I've only had this thing for two days. And if anything happened to him, I would kill everybody in this room and then myself. That's how I feel about this Yoda. Like, no harm can come to this Yoda at all. I will lose my mind. <laughs> like, this thing is the most precious being in the history of the world. And he is certainly making an effect on the Mandalorian. Like, they're, they're vibing, they're chilling. He really likes him, I think. And I I wonder why. I wonder if part of it is just because he's super cute, but I wonder if part of it is because the Mandalorian is also an orphan. Like, either his family all died or, or he doesn't know what happened to them. But he... It, he was all alone as a kid, I assume, um, because of that attack on his village. And I think he might relate to this Yoda a little bit and they're, they're, they're kind of forming a bond. Um, I hope, I mean, there's a season two of this show. They've confirmed season two and it's already filming. So I hope it doesn't end like The Last of Us where he potentially has to almost, I mean, we don't know if Joel dies in The Last of Us too, but it kind of vibe in that way. So I hope the Mandalorian doesn't have to eventually sacrifice himself for this Yoda. Like, but I do kind of see this bond happening where it's like, like parent and child almost, where they, they just form this connection and they, like, he's going to fight for this Yoda no matter what. Yeah, and I think he, he might even be willing to give up that Beskar steel. I wonder how important that steel is to him though. Cause it's like Mandalorian heritage type stuff. I don't know, that's, that's tough. 
this, like this was a short episode but this was, it was really good like it just told this little self-contained story it didn't need to like go necessarily any deeper it was just like hey this is what this is this is like he's got to get off this planet somehow this is the conflict that he's being presented with and i liked that i liked that they didn't like there's no um i think one of the reasons that the episodes have been so short is there's no like side stories that they need to cut to with like like side characters that are doing their own thing it's just this is the main character he's got the only storyline that's happening and so it makes it a lot easier to have these short episodes um because if it was long episodes you'd be like man this is boring we're just covering one dude for an hour but if it's just this one guy for 30 40 minutes it's not nearly as as bad and it's actually like good um so i think i think that's one of the reasons why it's so short is because there's no side characters or side plots that we need to follow it's just him um and what he's doing which makes sense because it's called the mandalorian but yeah next episode is a week from now on friday that's gonna take so long <laughs> i thought the wait from tuesday to friday was was tough but this is a whole week now. Good gracious. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough wait. But this show's awesome so far. I'm really enjoying it two episodes in. Do I have any more thoughts? I don't think so. Okay, that has been my thoughts on this episode of The Mandalorian. If you liked what you saw in terms of my reaction, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see the rest of the season's reactions. And if you want to see any other videos I've made, check them out in the channel. Um, a reminder, again, this is not a substitute for the original episode. If you want to watch that, go on Disney Plus and watch that uh, and check that out. Uh, support the original creators. Um, yeah. If you want to see the full-length reaction of this episode, um, go down to Patreon. That would be awesome. Um, but other than that, I'm Derek. This has been The Mandalorian Episode 2. Signing off. Peace.